slide in about another minute. Okay, just hang tight for a second. Make sure I got the, all the lighting set up correctly this morning. It's been getting brighter and brighter, so. Okay. Okay, almost there. Okay, so let me put my microphone on. Let's see here. We got some. Who's on this morning so far? We got Justin. We got, we got Justin's on. Linda's on this morning. We got Mr. Thomas is on as well. Ben. We got Ben. Good morning. Okay. I'm gonna get my mic microphone here. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, we are. Uh, I think we are almost ready. I have to do something about my cat here this morning. He is playful. Okay. If you haven't seen my latest addition to our family. Yeah, he's really, he's about three months old, very active. Okay, very active. So, anyway, so here we go. So, good morning, and let's see here. I think, hold on, get my light. Okay, so that'll work. Hello and welcome back. Um, if you're just joining me, my name is Hoon. Uh, welcome to the community. Okay, hold on. My cat is out of control right now. Okay, I'm just going to hold my wire. L let's try again. Okay. Hello and welcome back. Uh, if you're just joining me, uh, welcome to the community. So this morning, we're going to do another testing done. Okay, so yesterday we, uh, we did test with pressure gauge with Brista Express. And then uh, you was more like 12 to 13 bar based on this uh, gauge. So we are going to try it out uh, with the Rancholia Serbia. And then let's find out what kind of pressure we're going to get from it. So I got a great comments from you guys yesterday regarding Brista Express. So uh, thank you for the comments. That was great. So let's get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to so this is, I have a spare basket. So this is single size basket, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And then I attach the gauge there. And I'm simply attached. I'm just gonna lock it in pretty tight because I don't wanna have any leak because once you have a step leaking, uh, it's gonna be messed up the pressure, but we'll see how it goes, okay. All right. Where is it? How it goes here? I'm just gonna turn it around so you guys can see the gauge. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see from there, oops, and uh, pretty much nine bar is located around right there. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it. So that's the nine bar mark. Okay, here we go, guys. So this is a nine bar test, okay, for pressure gauge test for Rancholio Servia. 
Yeah, I see some water leak there as well. Going up to four. You got six. And have some water leak. Okay. Hmm. But, I don't think I cannot fix that water leak, but, so right now we are at number six, the six bar, and then we have some water leak. So I'm pretty safe to say that once if I have a water leak, I think that even though it's a six bar, I bet you it's going to go up to at least nine bar for sure, okay? I think I'm pretty first confident that uh, without the water leak, I think we get about nine bar. Okay, and I, I think, uh, again, I mean, I wish, so I have a really better uh, pore filter, but man, I wish it, it does not have a leak there, but I th I'm pretty sure, so th this is around nine bar machine, okay, compared to Bristol Express, I mean, less, uh, more like 12 to 13 bar at the time, so Anyway, so this is the uh, nine bar test. I think, again, around, I think this is pretty much close to nine bar. Uh, let's say any questions? Says, did you take off the basket? You should remove the basket. Basket? Someone asking me about the remove the... Okay, if I'm gonna remove the filter basket, it's gonna be, uh, we're not gonna get a tight seal, so it's not gonna work, okay? So we need that basket to do the proper test. That's why some people, yeah. So, you said you could fix the leak with plumber's Teflon tape on the threads. Okay, so Dane, man, okay, so I got a leak from, not from here. Uh, I already has a Teflon tape already in there. Uh, the water leak from the top, okay? So it's not the bottom, it's the top portion, so. Uh, George said, is a leak caused by the seal between the port filter and grip head? Yes, uh, I think the leak is caused by the, the grip head and the, and the port filter, okay? Some so. Of these Okay, someone, okay. So someone asked me about to remove the basket. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna remove the basket for you, okay? So let, let's do one more test. So let's do that, since I'm here. Okay, hold on, oops, goodness. That's what happens. Okay, so I removed the basket for one of our, our viewers' request. So let's do one more test. Okay. I'm going to do that one more time. By the way, <clears throat> this gauge is not a well built, so I'm gonna remove the cover, okay? Because the cover is all cover fallout like this. That or steamy and yeah, it's terrible. So I think most likely I'm gonna return the gauge, but well, let's try one more time. So I remove the uh, filter baskets. So let's do one more test. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, there we go. That's nine bar. God, who was the man, uh, who's the person mentioned to remove the filter basket? Anders. Anders. Anders, you are correct, okay? That works perfect. Thank you for that, Ender. Yes. So I think we are at, so this, let's do one more time. I think uh, we are hitting at nine bar, wasn't it? Nine bar. Yeah. Nine bar there. Hold on, let's do one more. Yeah. So we are at, so this motion is just under 10, so I think, <clears throat> so I think uh, Rancheria Sylvia is a safe to say, uh, kind of like nine bar pressure machine. So <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with it. And, and also uh, I'm gonna shout out to Mike. I don't know Mike's watching, but uh, Mike did a similar test yesterday and on his uh, apartmental. And so I think he got a, pretty much nine bar pressure as well. So, and I think I'm gonna put his link down below for his YouTube video. If you guys are curious about a rocket apartment pressure, 
Yes. George asked you now to go and remove the basket from the DVE and try it. So George asked me, maybe we should do another test with Brista Express. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it'd be great. So I'm just gonna clean this thing up. So I'm gonna I'm going to switch. I'm gonna remove this one here. Okay. So I got that this uh, tape. So so it doesn't lick. But hold on a sec, guys. So this is the great thing about live shows. We can do. Okay, so Dave uh, mentioned uh, great things about, great comments about the higher pressure from Bravo. Okay, because uh, Bravo baskets, as we can see, there's a lot uh, thicker and smaller, okay, smaller group heads. So I think you need that, the higher bar pressure, the pressure to compensate compared to this, uh, the thinner and wider, okay. So this one nine bar pressure, you're gonna get a, you know, you can get the good shot, but with nine bar pressure on this one, it's gonna be questionable. Okay, so, hold on. Okay, so you know what, Georgie, it's not gonna work with uh, removing uh, Brista Express. Because if I'm, so I remove the port filter, I'm sorry, the filter basket. I mean, this thing is <clears throat> way loose inside, okay? Yeah, way loose. So you, it's gonna be a lick everywhere. So that's why with this one, we have to have filter basket on, okay? Yeah, so it's not gonna work with that test, but uh, with uh, Rancholio Servia, their portifilter design is different, so it fits a lot better. So anyway, so I think that's somewhat, I don't want to say pointless, but it's not going to work. Okay, let's put it that way. All right, so any other question about the filter test? I I'm glad at least Rancholio Servia comes with the right bar pressure. So, so I was planning on adjusting it, so at this time I don't have to. Okay, that's it. I think we are good. So, you know what? Since we are here, let's make some coffee, okay? This is coffee channel after all. So, I'm going to make some coffee this morning. What about the La Pavoni? Have you tested how many bars you can get out of that one? Uh, with the La, uh, the La Pavoni, I have not done any tests with the La Pavoni yet. And maybe that's something... Maybe I should do it this weekend. Actually, no, because the La Pavoni is not a semi-automatic. That's a manual machine. So all the bar pressure is based on your uh, level, okay? So, yeah. I mean, with the Lapaboni, I mean, that's, I mean, pretty much whatever you put the pressure on, you're gonna get it. I think uh, Dave, I think Dave mentioned about the, the Brista Express. I think you have to have a higher bar pressure to, I mean, again, like compensate the, the uh, polyfilter design. Yeah, because with a nine bar pressure, the you you have to be the coarser. You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow, okay. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to make some coffee tomorrow morning. I think a Dane uh, Dane's request. We're gonna do the Vietnamese coffee tomorrow morning, and then we are going to do some uh, other testing on Brista Express as well. Yeah. So let's do that. But meantime. I'm gonna make, uh, let's, let's make some, you know what? I don't know. Uh, let's shot a, you know what? Let's do, last the Ristrata. Okay, that's the uh, one to one ratio. So I'm gonna do uh, 18 gram in and 18 gram out. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do, okay. Let's see. Okay, I got some beans. By the way, if you guys have a niche grinder, I highly recommend 
uh, get you uh, get something like this okay you don't have to be like this one but something like this for your niche okay because it works really good I was pleasantly surprised so if I'm gonna measure right now uh, 18 gram okay I'm gonna measure out 18 gram here okay here we go 18 uh, exactly 18 gram so let me show you guys if you haven't seen it this is really cool so I got 18 gram Okay, so now all the beans are grinded. If I'm gonna measure this, I got 17.74 gram, okay? And then if I'm going to go back here, do have a couple pumps. So now we're at 17.92 gram. So, I mean, this is pretty much zero retention. Okay, so I mean that works really good. So because I because I used to like you guys saw me with like handshaking or tapping. With this one, I don't have to do that anymore. So I think this one uh, uh, Dan uh, suggests me this. So thanks, Dan. Okay. Meantime, I'm going to heat up some coffee cup here. By the way, uh, maybe Friday morning, uh, I just ordered this uh, espresso tool, okay? Uh, it's called Blind Shaker. I'm not getting from the Weber, but uh, I got from Amazon. So you should be in tomorrow's so maybe Friday morning. Maybe we do some unboxing and do some testing on it. So I've been very intrigued by the, the Blind Shaker lately. So. So we'll see, okay, it'll be, it'll be really fun to play with that tool. Okay, the reason why I, I got the blind shaker I order, this is why, okay? Because with a like niche, as you can see from there, it's not evenly distributed, okay? So I always have to my, use my finger to uh, even distribute, and then I apply with my distribution tool. Mm, okay. Um, and Andre in Canada says, I received answer from Rocket Distributor in so, Montreal about third wave water. Yeah, so uh, Andre mentioned, uh, just got a heard from the Rocket regarding third wave water. And what's the answer? I mean, he was told there's no problem using it. So Rocket say there's no problem with uh, third wave water. So you know what? I mean, at this point, I mean, I got a lot of mixed messages there. So... Just do the regular cleaning and just make sure to do the regular disc air. I think, I think you should be, I hope you should be all right. But I mean, so far I have no problem with it, so. Um, can you please per share the purchase link for the rubber pump? Yes, I'm gonna put the, this rubber pump on my description below. Okay, so let's pour some shot, okay? So I'm gonna, it's called, so I'm trying to attempt to pour, it's called Ristrato, kind of one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm gonna put 18 gram out in about between 25 seconds, 25 and 30 seconds. So if you guys like really, really strong espresso, this is it. Okay, I'm trying for 36 gram. 
Okay, this, yeah, beautiful chroma there. Looks pretty good. Okay. I think I got lucky on the grinder size. Mm -hmm. You have some questions about okay. that for Okay, so. Smells really good. You know what, smells all good, okay. But let, let's try this. Cheers. Oh, man. I don't know why this coffee has been really sour lately, okay? Even though they are extracted, it's not bitter, it's sour for some reason. I mean, it's not great. Not that great. Okay, so questions. So that's what happens when, even though it looks fantastic, we have a beautiful crema, but it's, I, I don't know, maybe, I, maybe it's the coffee, I got the bad batch, I'm not sure, but okay. Uh, question? How far right can you turn the porter filter on the barista, someone asked. So, okay, so someone asked me about the, how far you want to turn the barista porter filter. Okay, you don't want to force it, guys, okay? We just turn it, and then once you feel like it's not going anymore, and stop. You, don't want, you do not want to force it. needs the plastic insert to gauge proper pressure. So he was saying if you put the black insert back in, can you gauge it then? Oh, George made a good point. Okay, George made a point that because uh, I removed the, the plastic insert, okay, and then if we're gonna put the plastic back in, Maybe we get a different pressure, perhaps. Maybe. Okay, George. Uh, let's do that tomorrow morning. Okay, let's do a test that tomorrow morning. Uh, right after a uh, coffee recipe. Yeah. Let's do that tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, it's see. Think, yeah, it's not going to work. Espresso aficionado says, of the Breville Barista Express Pro Touch, only the Express is 15 bars. The rest are nine. Okay. So, but Barista Pro is 15 bar? No, nine bar? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Brista Pro is 9 bar and any uh, other motions are 15, yeah, 15 bar. That's very interesting there. Only the Express is 15. Yeah, oh, only the Espresso is 15. Yes, because I get, what, 13 yesterday, so that's close enough. Did the, Anders is asking, um, did the Barista Express come with a thin group head gasket? If it did, you can install that first before the pressure test. You said it was too loose for the test. He said a thin group head gasket. Thin group head gasket, someone, uh, I'm not sure. And there, uh, I have to look into it now for that question. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, what else? Um, and then George says, I noticed Breville Manual says not use distilled water or demineralized. And I know Third Wave puts minerals back in. Yeah, so I mean, again, so. Maybe not the right minerals. Because uh, you, comes to you don't you do not want to use a uh, reverse osmosis water or your distal water on your machine because uh, you you need to have some mineral to prevent your uh protect your uh the boiler so yeah i mean that's definitely true that's why uh, with it like third wave water a product like that the start with the distal water they added added back the right mineral so so bring out the better flavor in the coffee I mean, so far, they are right about their claims because I compare with regular water versus the web water, I can definitely tell the difference in taste as well. All right, let's see. Are we good this morning? Okay, so there was a short session this morning, but again, uh, Rancho Liga Silvia, nine bar test. That was fine, okay? I think we are right on that range there. Uh, thanks to, what was it, Anders? Thanks to Anders about the removing the porter filter, the filter basket. So yeah, thank you for that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning. And make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. And see you guys tomorrow.